Artie, you had your first pro weekend there in Winnipeg. How did it feel? It was good, yeah, finally, yeah. Started playing, we won first game. So we're excited, yeah. unfortunately, we lost second game, but uh, we have to think about next game. So, yeah. You really had to be, you had to be patient over these past couple of months working back from injury. What was that like, kind of not being able to play and building up that anticipation? Yeah, of course, it wasn't fun when you're not playing. Of course, I wanted to play, but uh, yeah, I just was uh, patient, like waiting a little bit. It was uh, was a little patience for me, and uh, you know, I was still, yeah, uh, training, skating, working out. Just was waiting, yeah, uh, to start playing. Missing training camp. Uh, how much of a setback was that? How long do you feel it's going to take you to get back to where you want to be? Yeah, uh, I missed the. Camps, yeah, but still, I was watching, was uh, learning, just uh, not being in the ice, just uh, outside the ice. Still, was uh, uh, learning, and also I was just training uh, by myself with the skills coach and uh, uh, our coaches, and uh, yeah, also was good experience for me outside the hockey, outside the ice. What do you feel like is the biggest challenge here? facing right now? Is it the mental part of the game? Is it the physicality? Is it something else? No, I don't know, actually. I don't think about uh, uh, that. Just try to play hockey, try to do my job on the ice. That's it. I mean, yeah. So. Take us through the first two games for you over the weekend, and how were you trying to build up from those first two games going forward? Yeah, we, every game we just try to win the hockey game, so just uh, work on our game situations and uh, yeah, we just have to score more goals than the uh, team on the other side and that's it. What's it been like getting acquainted with some of your, your teammates? Obviously a lot of young guys down here as well, Frank and, and guys like them. What's it been like getting to know them on and off the ice? It's cool, it's cool also uh, yeah, to play with uh, uh, my teammates here and uh, to hang out outside the ice with them. I think it's always fun, yeah. You are the highest drafted player from Belarus. Uh, how much are the people back in your home country paying attention to your career, following your career? Is there a lot of buzz back in Belarus about you? Yeah, for sure. They're so excited for me that I started playing my first games. Uh, yeah, they're just waiting, waiting for my uh, main debut in the main league, and uh, but they're yeah also excited yeah uh, that I started my season already uh, yeah and I started playing. Does yeah. that put a little pressure on you to try to make all those people happy? Actually, I just uh, no, it's not. It's not too much pressure, just try to play hockey and uh, try to help the team win, try to win the games and, uh, and uh, yeah, we just, I try to, yeah, we try to show uh, good hockey and the ice at the team, yeah, for, for the fans, for people and also, of course, I want to play for uh, my yeah, country, for my people in Belarus. For sure. So you've only been here for a couple of days now, but what, have you been able to get out and check out Rockford at all? And uh, what are your first couple of thoughts of being down here in the city? Yeah, I like this city actually. It's more quiet than in Chicago. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like it actually.